Designs nowadays can be carried out using various different CAD softwares. Autodesk Inventor alleviates that issue by using its AnyCAD technology. So here we have the desktop connector installed on the computer. We are going to be selecting a file from our Fusion 360 team. In this case, it's going to be the right side of the gearbox. Now this is going to be the most important window that pops up. Right? You want to make sure that you reference the model. In essence, that's going to maintain a link between the model that you have open in Inventor and the model that you have stored on the drive. If that wasn't the case, you may have wanted to convert it to uh, an Autodesk Inventor model. If you wanted to learn a little bit more about the feature, go ahead and select the eye icon and get some more details on that functionality. Once we open the part, we see that we have it in its full form. And you also notice that it has a cloud icon next to it. Right? So the desktop connector, the way it works, it is storing all your files on a cloud server. Therefore, you do get that icon indicating that it's going to be a cloud file. Jumping into Fusion 360, notice that we do have the same file open. Now, let's say we want to make a few changes inside of Fusion 360, right? That's a common trend that a lot of people or design teams are experiencing nowadays. Right? So in this case, we deleted a few of the flanges as well as extended the spacing offset for the gear inside the gear housing. So a few minor changes, but nonetheless, they are going to be reflected inside of Inventor, right? So we're gonna save it. That's gonna create version two of it inside of the Fusion team. Jumping back into Inventor, we see that we have a little Thunderbolt next to the cloud now, right? So that's indicating again that there's been a change made to the model. If we rotate the model, we see that those flanges indeed did get deleted. Checking the offset just for verification purposes, we see that it's now 200 thousandths as well. So that's how AnyCAD technology works inside of Autodesk Inventor. Hope you guys learned a few things. Thanks for watching.